Alrighty guys, let's get going here. This is Heritage High Number. Um, this is not a super exciting break, especially especially right after Chrome Black. Um, so we'll just get cracking here. Uh, we're going to blow through the base cards. Um, and really just slow down for the hits, to be honest. That's Lindor on the box topper, the poster version. Francisco Lindor to the Mets. Probably take longer to open the cards than it will to get, uh, than it will to actually go through them. One sec, my phone's doing something funky here. All right, sorry about that. So just one hit a box and then uh, one or two parallels. And we'll see if we see a French back or anything like that. We didn't, this is only my second break of this and uh, I only got six total boxes of this product. So this is our second and final break. We'll see. I believe the French backs are upside down so you can see them. But I'll kind of take a quick peek at the backs. Because I think the color is a little different on them. Kinds of packed trash. Ah. Here we go. Got chrome in here. I don't see anything. McKinstry, Kellenick, rookie performer. Blankenhorn. Mickey Moniak. That's a red to 372. Top load at 99 or less, typically. Taylor Trammell, Perdomo. Don Mattingly, Manager of the Year. Kohei, Andrew Vaughn, Crochet, Kirloff, Jonathan India, Nate Pearson, rookie performer, Shirt and Apostle, Kim, Jazz, Moniac, Brad 
Braylon. Cronenworth. Kellenick. Base. Uh, Devers Chrome. That's to nine ninety nine. Uh, nothing yet, Nick. A kill by do. Whitlock. Saw Mira. I have not yet, Nick. No. Tatis. Dunning. That jazz is upside down. Why? I think it's just upside down. <laughs> there is nothing significant about it. There's our hit right there. means it's a relic if I can see it Jimenez um, oh you know hang on I'm gonna come back to that Nick Maton Anthony Rizzo to the Cubbies Let me check that, Nick. No, it's not flip stock either. Well, maybe it is. The back is literally flipped. I think they printed the card upside down. Because the stock is correct. I think they printed the card upside down. See? Because the stock is correct. Color variation, is that a thing? And by the way, there doesn't seem to be any variation on the color. Hang on, we have another Jazz in here. It's not like a reverse negative, although it is interesting that this is on the left side and this is on the right. And then see, they're backwards on the back. Oh, Mike, you would ask me that. Can't see that far. Missing stars? Oh, you're right. Is missing stars a... Uh... Yeah, no, y'all are right. Is that a thing? I'm learning something here. Seven, seven, nine on that one. And 882. So, yeah, it's a variation of some kind. Because the codes are definitely different. I did not know that's a variation. One in four cases. So, on Jazz, that's a hit. Like a legit hit. Man, I'm glad y'all found that. I would have never seen that. Call me dumb. 
dumb breaker, but that is not. Yeah, for sure, Jonathan. It, yeah, he's he's top loaded. Italic names, colors, and stars. Got it, Mike. So that's uh, it's kind of like the Gypsy Queen ones with those variations that are super hard to see. Yeah, he's top loaded. Well, I'm glad y'all are here. <laughs> I take it he's your card, Jonathan. Congrats, man. That's a original 72 Jerry Johnson in action. That's for the Giants. 50th anniversary. Jerry Johnson. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a team effort on these random variations that are hard to see. by the number. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, missing stars. I forgot about that. It may not focus well enough for that, but yeah, it's there. I did forget that it shows that variation up there. Good call, Nick. be honest, I do my best to open as little heritage as possible, so I forget what all the... Uh, guys, just so you know, while we're in a little pause here while I'm opening these, I've got um, Shoebox and Stadium Club tomorrow uh, breaking, and then we've got one Shoebox, and I think that's it, on Thursday breaking, and then we are off for the holidays. I'm guessing you guys are too, and we probably won't be back breaking until um, the week of the 3rd again. So I've not picked up any... Alan Ginner Chrome, which comes out this week. Ooh, sorry guys, bumped the camera. My bad. Um, I'll probably pick up Bowman Inception, assuming it actually comes out, and then um, some of the other stuff that may come out while we're gone, and then we can break it when I get back. But just be aware. Oh, we have an upside down card. We'll do that stack last. There's our hit. Do that one a second. All right. Box two. David Price Chrome. That's to 572. Yeah, there's a second shoe box on eBay now, Nick. That'll break tomorrow. It'll close. I'm sorry. It'll close tomorrow and then break on Thursday. My bad. The one breaking tomorrow is the one that closed today. Kirilov. Maton. Apostle India. Jimenez. Kirk. Ryan Mountcastle, rookie performer. 
Jazz, the normal one. Let's see who's behind Darno. Luis Garcia. To the Nats. Hopefully that means we have ink on the last one. Yeah, I'm hoping, Mike, that they're either going to be upside down or backwards. And then I don't have to look that hard again. And if they're not, then hopefully you guys find them when you get when you get them at home. <laughs> Cronenworth. Salamira. Vaughn. Garrett Whitlock. Gross. See, we tore up a Bauer in the last break because the guy who bought the spot was cool with that. Can't do it here. I don't know who has that spot. Garrett Crochet. Blankenhorn. That was a terrible little stack right there. All right. This one has the variation in it. Uh, machine. Braylon. This is... That's the action parallel. Ozzy Albies. One of the Braves. Congrats. It's the first upside down card we've had in... I mean, backwards upside down. Not upside down this way. Uh, Kellenic in... That's the fifth box. The Boomba Brothers. I kill Badu. Nicknames too in Heritage. Oh my God. I think I'd notice the nicknames honestly. Cronorth. McKinstry. Uh, Alec Mills. No, no. All right, guys, one more box. Got another. Oh, that one's kind of cool, actually. Bob Gritch. I think that's a second-year card for him. I think his rookie was 71. That's pretty good. Actual legit player. To the Orioles. I like those originals with the 50th anniversary stamps. They're cool. Plus, they're easier to ship than the other box loaders. So I really like them.
course he is, Mike. I still need to get the Tubbs one on the calendar. I told him we'd have to do it after the holidays. And I met, um, I don't know if he's worth doing a signing with, but I met Diego Fagundes, who's the, like, star of Austin FC. I think he's, like, a 14-year MLS vet. I just don't know if he has much market. I don't know anything about the MLS. So I'd have to do some serious digging. All right. Oh, we got another backwards card here. Upside down. Salamira. Whitlock. It's going to be Matt Carpenter. Is that like vintage stock? Color variation, maybe? It, of course, doesn't say on it. Seems like vintage stock, though. It's not nearly as glossy on the front. Is that a thing in here? In Heritage? Y'all clearly know the parallels better than I do. That's what it looks like. It's not glossy at all. There's a comparison. Y'all can see that. It's not glossy at all. I think it's like vintage stock or something. Oh, that's cool, Mike. I, is that what they're calling flip stock, though, Nick? Because the back isn't glossy at all. I thought the flip stock used to be, or in most products, was literally like the front was on the back and the back, the finish on the front was on the back and vice versa. But this one's, like, flat on both sides. Maton. Who's going to be the first to get a Quinn Ewers signing? Tony Perez. Apostle. Uh, India. Almost blew past him. Jazz. Pretty sure you were signing is like a million dollars. I don't think that kid rolls out of bed for less than a million bucks. Well, that's true too, Nick. Kirloff. Yeah, they're kind of matte on both. Yeah, that's a that's a fair point. Machine. Corey Seager, World Series MVP. Kellenic. Badu. McKinstry, Jimenez, and Matt Carpenter Chrome. That's to $9.99. He's all over the place on this box. Oh, yeah. I'm pumped to have viewers, too. Pache. It's at least a step in the right direction. No offense to Casey. I think we're going to get three relics, y'all. No ink. Tremel. Perdomo. Yeah. That sounds right, Mike. Kim, Kohei, Vaughn, Crochet, 
Cronenworth. Pujols and Trout. All right, and then this last hit is another relic. Nick Senzel to the Reds. All right, guys, so pretty much that was the wrong one. All right. All right, so we had 272 buybacks. Jerry Johnson to the Giants and Bob Gritch to the Orioles. Three relics. Anthony Rizzo to the Cubbies, Luis Garcia to the Nats, and Nick Senzel to the Reds. And then three variations. So Matt Carpenter, I think that's flip stock or vintage stock or whatever they're calling that. Uh, Ozzy Albee's action to the Braves. And Jazz, uh, which one were we calling that? Missing Stars, Jazz to the Marlins. Uh, no, Nick, I don't think so. I think he is stuck in no man's land right now. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Um, again, so we've got Stadium Club ending uh, in about an hour. Uh, if you want to jump in on that, that's the end of our Stadium Club, just regular Stadium Club, not Chrome. Uh, and then we will uh, break that in a shoebox tomorrow, and then tomorrow we'll end a shoebox and break that on Thursday, and then we'll be done for a little bit. Uh, thanks guys. Have a great night.